getting ready for work. Oh my god. <sighs> hey Monica. Hey Don, what's up? Not much. I just can't believe it, Don. I have a, we have a third teenager in the house as of today. Really? Yeah, Ava. Oh my god. And it was just one year yesterday that my mom passed away, Don. <laughs> in this house even. Oh. Oh Monica, I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's okay, I'm just getting over it, but, yeah. Well, I better get to work, okay? You better get those kids up for school. I know, well, Ava is an audience in 7th grade. Where's the time go? She'll be graduating 8th grade next year. I know. Cindy's graduating high school in, like, a month. Joseph will be in 10th grade. Oh, my God. Just My babies are growing up, Dawn, and I don't know if I can handle it. I know, Monica. Time flies. It really does. Anyways, see you later. Love you. Love you too. Ava, time to get up. Ava, my teenager. <sighs> Hi, Mom. Ava, I just want to wish you a very happy 13th birthday. I cannot believe you're, a, you're already a teenager. Thanks, Mom. Mom, I thought of something. Yes? Do I have to go to school today? I knew you would say that. <sighs> I mean, I know you had a PD day yesterday. Yeah. So I don't really want to go. <sighs> Fine, I'll let you stay home because it's your birthday. Don't you have work? No, I actually took today off because I thought we could do something. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, but Don had to work, though. He'll be back in a few hours, though. Then Cindy and Joseph will go to school, I guess, too. Yeah. Oh, no, I knocked on the basketball net. Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, guys. If she's not going to school, we're not going to school. Yeah. Um, that's not how it works. Yes, it is. I'm not going if Ava doesn't have to go. Hey. Sorry, that was just my happy birthday. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! Ooh. I'm sorry, Sydney. I didn't mean to push you. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh. Not another injury. This family is just so clumsy sometimes. Ah! Ah, that light was flickering. Enough! Ow! I'm not going today! Mom! It's okay, Ava. I'm not going to school! I will not... I will not go. <sighs> so, Mom, if... Sydney's not going to school, can I stay home too? And Ava... Fine, whatever, you all can just stay home. <sighs> Thank you. Um, Sydney, you can call in for us. Okay. <sighs> I better call the school and let them know you're not coming in today. But, uh, no, Mom, let's just do something. Okay. Oh, Ava, I still can't believe it. You're already 13 years old. Like, where does the time go? It just flies by, doesn't it, Mom? It honestly does, sweetie. Like, honestly, 13 years ago, I gave, I gave birth to you. And I held you, my youngest daughter, on my arm for the first time. So it's for breakfast, what Ava has. Ava, share. No, you can't. You know what, Sydney? You have been so bossy with me. I am not going to share my room with you or anything like that with you. Oh my god, Ava, why would you say that? Sydney Hollinger. I'm Sydney Kavetz. I'm gonna go meet my boyfriend. Bye. No, you are not. You will be staying home because you're grounded. Mom, I'm 18. 17 still. You are 17 years old still. Are you okay, Ava? I just hate how she bullies me. You always tell... Ah! Ina! Stay away from me. Yeah, you stay away from me. Ugh. 
leave me alone. Yeah, you leave me alone. Enough, girl. Gosh, why do my daughters always have to fight? I thought having girls would... <sighs> Clearly not. Clearly not. She's just at a different stage in her life than me, Mom. <sighs> so... So what would you like to do today, Sydney? I'm not Sydney. I mean Ava. I don't know. Okay, I just would like to play outside, but it's rainy today and everything. Why don't we have some of the family over? Nah. Why don't we visit the neighbors? Nah. They all have school today. That's right. Um, I don't know, honestly, what we should do. Do you have any suggestions of what you would like to do? I don't know, honestly. Mom! Ugh, what, Sydney? You come to apologize to your sister? <sighs> I'm sorry, Ava, but anyways, it's not what I was asking. We need to move. Why? Well, you know how I'm going to college this fall, right? Yeah, you've been accepted already. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. We need to move. What do you mean, move, Sydney? <sighs> I want to live closer to Kyle's family. We live 15 minutes away. Sydney Hollinger, we can't move. We've been here for two years, almost. Exactly my point, Mom. We've been here two years. We need a new house. This house is only a two-bedroom. No, three-bedroom. And there's three kids. I am tired of having to share a room with Joseph. And why does Ava get her own room, but I don't? After this school year is done, we are moving. No, I don't want to move. Um, Sydney, you cannot decide that. And besides, you're going to stay in a dorm next year, aren't you? Like, yes, I am. But, like, I don't want, like, I want us to f move. Well, Sydney, I have, we have been thinking about that, John and I, about selling this house, especially with how much... The house is around us, Scott. Like, the house next door just sold for $800,000. It's a lot of money we can get. Yeah, that's exactly my point. We can sell it for a lot of money and get and get a bigger house because we've just started to outgrown this. Yeah, I think you're right, Sydney. So can I start, can we start house hunting? Well, look, I don't know. We're close to dawn for the airport and mom. <sighs> I remember when we bought this house, we paid, we got it for 575000 That is, the prices have gone up so much since then. Literally, the houses across the street are selling for five eighty dollars and five ninety. Yes, exactly, Mom. I know my math, meaning that would be such a good money. Like, we would have so much money but if we did that. Oh my gosh, we could probably sell it for, like, 800000 and that it's all renovated. Well, but think about it, Sydney. So, uh, this house was renovated six years ago in 2017. Everything in this house is six years old. The Corman house next door, while well, they move now, the, all of their stuff was brand new from two years ago. This stuff is now six years old, to keep that in mind. Would you two be okay if we talked about it? more closer, guys? Well, n nothing has to be done right away, but I mean, maybe in June or July we'd look at moving to a bigger place, because Sydney's right, it, it is a bit tight with the three of you, and especially because you're going to go into a teenager soon, too, Ava. I mean, it's just going to be a lot. Well... I don't know. I mean, think about it. All the friends that you made around here basically have moved away. I mean, you have met some of the neighbor friends, but you haven't actually gotten to know everyone as well. Well, I don't know, Mom. I just don't know. Well, you guys think about it, Joseph. I mean, where would we be moving to? Well, since your high school's in a bigger region, and Ava, you're going there anyways. We can move. We can move to the other end of the city, closer to your high school. That's actually a good idea. Let's look in that neighborhood. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what Don says when he gets home.
after lunchtime, one o'clock. I mean, that's a nice one, don't you think? Oh, yes, it is. Order your, little, your wallpaper, um, Ava. He would just put up all this nice wallpaper for you. Well, I don't know. I mean, now that I look about it, it looks a little too much. Seriously, Ava? Well, that wasn't wouldn't matter anyways because be, if we're moving anyways. Hello, I'm home. Dawn's here. Hello, upstairs. Hello, guys. Hi, Dawn. Um, what are you guys doing all up here? Dawn, we have decided that we think we should sell our house. Um, what? You agreed? Yeah. We're talking about hopefully the next month or two we'll put it for sale. Monica, are you crazy? No. Why, why are you calling me crazy? We have been living in this house for almost two years. I know, but the kids kind of need bigger spaces. Um, well, do you realize that Sydney's going to college in the fall? Well, that's exactly the point. Ava is move, go, going to be going to high school after next year, and Joseph is already in high school. So that means... By the time Ava gets to high school, in like two school years from now, we will, none of us will be close to anything. I mean, I, I'm a bit far for work right now, about, I don't know, 15 minutes to work. I mean, you're close, but I mean, that's the only benefit. But I mean, I do love the neighborhood though here. See? I mean, we do have a pretty big backyard. There would be a lot of selling features to this home, Monica. I mean, especially because we remodeled some parts of it. Like, the this bedroom we remodeled. Yeah, you know what I mean? We would have lots of perks to selling this house. Okay, I agree. Especially because, Monica, you and I have never bought a house together. So that would be very exciting. Oh my god, you're right. I'm, I've totally forgot that Craig and I bought this house. And he's long gone. Yeah. Let's celebrate my birthday somewhere now, okay? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ava. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, everyone. You're welcome. Bye.